with the organic fertilizers we have, they work on the soil. Um, and so basically, if, if you have good, healthy soil with a lot of uh, microorganisms and beneficials in it, you're going to have good, healthy turf. Basically, you're feeding the soil. The soil feeds the um, microorganisms, and then the microorganisms feed the plants. And it's just kind of going back to the natural way that things happen. Um, some of the products we use, um, as far as the organic fertilizers, we have a 900 corn gluten that we use, and that is, um, we'll put that out in the, in the early spring, and then sometimes during the growing season if needed. Um, we also use a 315 uh, alfalfa based fertilizer. We'll put that out in the late spring to early summer, and then once again we'll put it out in the, right before the grass goes dormant. In order to supplement some of the fertilizing, we use compost. And there's tons of different composts that you can use. Um, we, one particular one we use a lot is a cotton burr compost. And it is, uh, we'll put it out at about an eighth inch to a quarter inch thick layer, rake it into the soil and, and grass real good. And then um, a lot of times you can put it out right after you aerate. That way it has a way for that organic matter to get down deep into the soil. And then once you got it all spread out, you can water it in. And, and that's just, once again, great organic matter for the microorganisms and, and the beneficials to feed on and give you good, healthy soil. Soil pH, um, we use lime and sulfur to control that. And it's all based off of soil samples. Every year we get soil samples for each location that we're going to use these products in. And if it says that the pH is high, we'll put out sulfur to try and bring it down. If the pH is low, we'll put out lime to try and bring it back up. So um, everything that we do, including fertilizer, is based off the recommendations of that soil sample.